What's up everybody, Mart here from Section Store once again. Today we will be having a look at this slideshow section right here we just brought out. It has this little intervals right here. So as you can see, it's an automatic slideshow and the way we can use it is either like that or just simply use it as a normal arrow slideshow. And it's fully customizable. And what we're gonna be doing today is using it for one of my own stores. So it's gonna look like that. We're gonna use our own pictures and fully customize it to our likings. As you can see, the buttons here are changing as well. And I'd say we just jump right into it. First thing we will be needing for that is the Section Store app. You can easily download it in the Shopify App Store. The app itself is completely free and it comes with over 150 fully customizable components, Shopify exclusive. And yeah, that's pretty much it. After we've downloaded it, we can head to the Shopify admin area where we wanna be looking for section store in the apps panel down here. Then we're gonna click on explore sections. It's a little collection of all the sections which are in the app. There you can see the slide already. I said already, the app itself is completely free, but it does come with a couple of uh, premium components like this one. It means it's a one-time purchase of $9, no hidden subscription fees or anything. It means if you bought it once, you're gonna own it forever and you're not gonna need a developer to custom code your section like that. And you're also not gonna need any code. So I think at the end of the day, it's a pretty good deal. All right, if that convinced you and you downloaded the section, you can just head back to the home area of the app, add it to your theme. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. And then you can simply open up the theme editor right here, the one you're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. That's the one we saw in the beginning of the video. I'm just gonna switch to here and get rid of that section real quick. So we're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna scroll all the way down, click to add sections and then type in slideshow. There we have it, perfect. That is looking good. Bring it all the way to the top. And the first thing I wanna be doing is actually filling it with content. So I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit. First picture I wanna add is that one. So we can see it right here and we can change the image overlay. As you can see right here, you can use a background container, the max width of the picture. So if you wanna have it on 100%, let's just save it up real quick. So it's actually reloading the thing fine to me and we have the width here as well and as you can see here it's already showing the little animation right there the comp container opacity so you can see how much overlay it actually has the positioning the actual text let's do a book stuff trip with us now and we can even customize the font the size Pretty much everything is customizable, as you can see. And the text here is customizable as well. Let's just put start right now. And here we have the text size of the block underneath it, which is changeable as well. And we do have the link preview. So we can just put book now and put a link. Maybe let's just put the contact page off the side that's quite reasonable but you can pretty much put everything you can even put an external link that's all an option link size is changeable as well and yeah here are some general paddings and margins of the the link itself and there we can do some some color customizations i'm going to show you right now we have the link color i'm going to put it to i'm going to leave it to white actually and the background color is supposed to be purple and i want the hover to be like that and you want that to be orange so it's going to be like that perfect that looks good bunch of more customizations possible here but i'm not going to bore you with that i'm just quickly gonna do the other slides off screen and then i'm going to see you in a second and show you some more customization options to the whole block itself all right here we are back once again i added one more slide to the thing and the next thing i want to be doing now is doing some customizations to the whole block itself. I just done customizations to those slides now. So I'm gonna click on the main block itself 
and here we can select if we want to use the controls as you can see right here instead of numbers we can also use buttons it's the ones you saw in the beginning of the video it's going to be a little delay and we can add an image border radius you can even select the custom height for the images so if i don't want it to be that tall i can simply put it like that just going to leave it like that for the sake of this tutorial and I can use a custom height for mobile as well, which I want to be doing. And then here we can just customize the hell out of all the things you can see right here again, like the borders, the arrow colors, and the background color as well, or the number colors. I'm actually going to switch back to numbers because I think they look pretty nice. And let's scroll all the way down. Here's some general margin and paddings again. And here we can also set it to full width. So it's overlapping right here and that is looking pretty good to me happy with that let's decrease the border radius so it's overlapping on the whole thing save it all up and have a little look at it in the live version see if all works out and we're gonna use the controls of course there you can see it switch to full screen and here we have our working section i think that looks pretty good to me everything customized the photos look nice and it perfectly fits the vibe of our brand and that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope you guys found that useful and if you did always feel free to leave a like and a follow definitely helps us to keep up that motivation and with that being said have a good one guys and peace out